It is time for further corruption cleanup at the UAW. Today, Union President Rory Gamble and U.S. Attorney Matthew Schneider set a date to work on more reforms. The meeting comes after 13 now convictions of union leaders in that wide-ranging corruption probe. Two men say they're going to work to restore the membership's trust in the union and to make sure corruption does not return. Those negotiations are set to start on June 30th. The family of a man shot and killed by Atlanta police came forward today asking that any protests be peaceful. 27-year-old Richard Brooks died Friday night at a Wendy's after he was shot twice in the back. His death is being ruled a homicide. The officer that shot Brooks has been fired. Another officer involved is on administrative duty. Protesters once again flooded the streets in downtown Atlanta this morning. The Wendy's was burned to the ground this weekend. His widow, though, is asking for peace. It's just going to be a, a long time before I heal. It's going to be a long time before this family heal. And I just, like I said, I'm just thankful for everything that everyone is out there doing. And I just ask that if you could just keep it as a peaceful protest, that would, that would be wonderful. Because we want to keep his name positive. Could have a decision on charges in that case as early as Wednesday of this week. Media mogul Tyler Perry has offered to pay for all of the funeral expenses, by the way.